This is part four. It's day five. Finished the water pump last night. Gonna try and get to the heads today. So before I get to the heads, I have a little bit of uh, just tidying up work to do. I'm actually gonna put the thermostat back in just because ours is looking okay, so I don't think I really need to change it. So I've got my torque wrench set here to about 12 newton meters. I was gonna change the front oil seal, but ours looks good. And honestly, I think I would only change it if it went bad because I would probably have to cut this out to get it out anyway. And I don't wanna ruin this good seal. The next thing I got to get to to get to the head is take off, this is a heat shield and then under here is the exhaust manifold. And yes, I am putting on two extensions because I am tired of hitting my hands on stuff. I'm also going to take off this mounting bolt for this is the uh, transmission fluid dipstick and then I'm probably going to have to take off this bracket too. So I got the bracket off, but the next thing I need to get to is the EGR tube. So I've got my wrench in there and I'm gonna try and break it free. I'm not sure how much torque I'm gonna have to apply, but I don't have much space, so that's kind of the only thing I have for now. I'm gonna try a shot of penetrating oil. So a new development is I can't get the EGR tube free. So what I'm gonna try to do is I just kind of jiggled the heat shield away and I think I can reach these uh, exhaust manifold bolts if I just pull it away and kind of maneuver it a little bit. Oh, 
little trick that I found is to put a magnet in my glove and then when I undo the, the nuts or the bolts they just stick to my thumb. So I've run into a potential roadblock. I can't get the bolts that secure the exhaust manifold to the exhaust piping off. So I'm going to see if I can actually get the head off by just unbolting the exhaust manifold and then lifting the head off and then taking it off of the exhaust manifold. So I'm going to see if I can do that. But to do that, I have to take off the valve cover first. There's also a hose that I have to remove back here. It's interesting, it connects just to the other valve cover. I don't know if it's an oil hose or something. The head bolts need to be loosened in a sequence and starting with this bolt right up here. and I'm gonna loosen them a quarter turn at a time. And that's the first cylinder head bolt. Looks like there's, I think, a radiator pipe that's attached to the back of the cylinder head. I'm going to try and take that off. Sometimes you lose your wrench. So another new development happened. I wasn't able to get the head off without undoing the exhaust manifold, but I undid that flange right there on the exhaust that's under the right bank. And then I undid another flange that runs up behind here. And that allowed me to move the exhaust manifold away from the head. This is a momentous occasion. I'm going to pull my first cylinder head off the block. And it should come up now. <sighs> oh, it's leaking. <sighs> That concludes this part of the series. Don't forget to check the description for more information, and I'll see you in the next part.